Aguilar in for Tom tonight. Luckily, Tom took a few days off, but he didn't take the good weather with him. He exactly. left it behind. It's here to stay. Yeah. And then I take over, and my job's a little bit easier. Smooth sailing. Smooth sailing through the weekend. Here's a quick look at what we're tracking here in the Weather Center. We're still tracking, even though it's relatively quiet all across the area. We're definitely going to be cooling off through the overnight hours, so you definitely will need that light jacket as you make your way out the door tomorrow morning. And this could be the last warm weekend relatively as we head into your Saturday and Sunday. And I'll have a quick look at that 10 day forecast in just a couple of minutes. And also, I look at that forecast for that super moon, blood moon, lunar eclipse that we're really talking about. It's a very rare event. And I'll have a quick look at that forecast also in just a couple of minutes. But first, let's talk about those temperatures right now. We have cooled off into the upper 50s in some parts of the area. Otherwise, we're still holding on into the lower 60s for much of Michiana, but at least we're all clear on your ABC 57 first warning live Doppler radar. Like Drew just mentioned, we're smooth sailing. Don't need that umbrella as we head through tomorrow and even as we head into the weekends. So let's get a quick check with forecast track as it's starting out at midnight. Still, some fair weather clouds here and there, remaining relatively quiet through the overnight. By 7 a.m., just some light cloud cover, mainly in our northernmost counties. Could be seeing some areas of patchy fog where we are seeing those clear skies in our southernmost counties. Just be aware of that for that uh, early morning commute for your Friday. Then by 3.30 p.m., still plenty of sunshine. Temperatures will be warming back up to near 80 degrees tomorrow afternoon. And then as we end early Saturday morning, still plenty of sunshine. That radar still all clear as we head into the weekend. So threat tracker low tonight, tomorrow, even into Saturday. Overnight lows drop back into the mid 50s. Tomorrow we're going to be nearing 80 degrees yet again. Saturday, upper 70s, partly sunny skies. A great day for a game day for the fighting Irish. Now let's talk about that super moon lunar eclipse. Now the sun, earth and moon will form that straight line. That will be on Sunday night. It'll also be a blood moon. So that means we're going to be seeing that moon is going to see that reddish orange tint through that overnight hours. The peak for that eclipse will be 10 11 p.m. So mark your calendars, set that timer, and also that next one won't be until 2033. So, what is that forecast as we head into Sunday night into early Monday morning? Could be seeing some partly cloudy skies, but temperature is going to be dropping back into lower 60s late Sunday night into early Monday morning. So, you might need that light jacket if you are planning on heading outdoors to watch that rare event. Quick check at your ABC 57 first warning, seven day and 10 day forecast. Still remaining summer like even as we into the weekend and to start off that next work week with highs still into the mid to upper 70s. Then temperatures start to slowly drop off back into the lower 70s as we get into the middle of the next work week.